Well, that's Jesse. This right here is why this race topic sets my ass off. This is this is just ridiculous is what this is. Just listen to these people. Do white lives matter? White lives? Uh, it's a bit of a tricky question. Um, no, not in the slightest. Yes, they tried to censor the truth. No, why not? Black lives matter. I really don't give a fuck about white lives. Yeah. We're gonna get really political. Really? So we're supposed to care about your life, but you can sit there and say, you don't give a fuck about ours. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a good positive way to go about racism. All you're doing is just making it worse for you. That's pathetic. You can sit and saying you can't say all lives matter. Yeah, whatever. That's the same thing as everything else you can't fucking do. You know, you can't have a straight pride rally, you can't have an all lives, or all lives anything, you can't back the police with the blue, you can't have freaking white history, you can't have anything. As long as it's not black centered or gay and lesbian centered, forget it. Or, you know, the, the big one now, the, the trans centered. Everything else, fuck it. Doesn't matter. You're not even human beings anymore. Good approach. But, Fuck these people. And you got this white woman here laughing. Uh, if you're gonna get political, you can't even admit that white lives matter. You know, we are human beings. You're just playing into a political movement of bullshit. And that's why these movements don't make any sense to me. You know, you should never have a, a movement that's political because then it just destroys the entire narrative because that's, that's all you think about is the politics of it it's rather than the actual narrative of it. Nobody should be spe specifying certain colors anyway. Everyone's life matters. That's why they said all lives matter in, back then. But you were on this Black Lives Matter narrative that BLM straight up showed you exactly how much that mattered. Not a dime went to any of the black lives that were killed during all this nonsense that was going on, and you guys don't even care about that. It's, it's such a joke. It's such a joke that we, can, we continue to get bashed on but we're expected to bow down to you. There's no reason why everybody can't just get the fuck along and stop all this bullshit. It's crazy how you're not supposed to be racist. You're not, you know, everybody wants to fight for racism. You're not supposed to be against people with different sexual identities. But by God, you want it, you force it on these people, no matter what. But you know, you want people to not ask you questions and just, you know, respect you. But we're not allowed to ask anything at all. Yeah, it's, it's not going to go good for you in the end. So keep it up. Our country is going straight to shit because of basically these two groups. And you guys sit and talk about white supremacy. Oh, and there ain't no fucking white people doing shit right now. Now, Antifa, in my opinion, is more like the white jackass groups but they're also the gayest little bunch of fairies I've ever seen in my life so they're not even really a, a threat we could take them out in one nice helicopter you know go around the building here and just blast them all and they'd be gone so it wouldn't even be a movement anymore but these movements are starting to cause so much internal fighting it's, it's all, all it's going to end in is, is more violence and more people to hate each other and you've knocked racism so far back all the work and that's been done to, to not even look at race has just been completely reversed and now we have a new group that just keeps adding everybody known to man to their psycho group that are causing more hatred than I've ever seen in this entire planet's history worse than the KKK but if you look at the KKK's basically mission statement thing of, of causing you know violence this and that pushing narratives well it's being played out right now just with a rainbow you've just replaced the swastika with a rainbow but keep it up because nobody gives a fuck anymore they're getting really really sick and tired of your shit and these people right here they can't even say that, that their life matters when they're white yeah you're, you're a piece of shit's what you are you shouldn't be embarrassed to say that, just like people shouldn't be embarrassed to say what a woman is. 
you know what a woman is. You just don't want to say it because you got a mob of, of bitches that want to attack you now. And everybody's so chicken shit of them. It's absolutely ignorant. I'm not going to. And that woman right there, that black woman that said, absolutely, under no circumstances, do, do their lives matter? Yeah, fuck her. That right there is why people continue to be racist. Not because of white people, because of stuff like that. There are racist white people, yes. But, I mean, you're never going to get rid of it. Uh, it doesn't matter what you try to do. You're never going to get rid of it. Everybody has thoughts of things. You can't change that. You can't change the entire world's thought process. But we weren't at a racist point in this history. We were probably at the best point we've ever been at until all this nonsense started. And this group right here, you know, the colorful people, have started the most insane war with everybody. And they're winning. But it's going to backfire. Oh, yeah, it is. I can't wait. Uh, Oops. Just keep it up. Pretty soon, uh, us white people, us straight white people, won't have to sit in fear anymore, which I don't sit in fear anyway. I mean, you don't fucking scare me. You're just a bunch of pussies like Antifa, so I'm not even worried about it, but nobody will ever back a movement that promotes love who you want to love, but then attack everybody, and you don't want anybody to ever even have an opinion or to love who they want to love. You're not, you don't want them to ask questions, but if we want to you know, question what you're doing or want to know maybe why you think the certain way that you do, you tell us to shut the fuck up. So that's when we need to say, well, okay, fuck you. I don't care who you love. If I don't like gay people, I don't like gay people. If I don't like trans people, I don't like trans people. Nobody in this world has to like everybody. It's not how it works. It doesn't make you transphobe. You can hate someone and just not like them. You can hate a group and not like them. You can make every name known to man to, to make it a marginalized situation, like, you know, that's a racist or that's a transphobe. So what? It's a name. Who gives a fuck? Everyone is not going to like everybody. But when you start forcing people to like things that they're not used to or they don't agree with, then you're, you're, you're damaging your own cause. So keep it up. Eventually, all this shit will be over with. And all you brain dead idiots that think you have no sex and both sex or no both sexes and you think you're having a period when you're a man or you think you need to go to a gynecologist, yeah. All you're gonna do is look like a fucking idiot. And when your kids look back at you in the future, if you even have any, since you probably won't even have the organs to make them anymore, they're gonna be completely embarrassed of you and probably never speak to you again in your life. And I'm glad, so enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs>